Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel and another episode of my Seven Days to Die, or sorry, Darkness Falls for Alpha 20 series. It is the morning of day 30 and I just burned through a whole bunch of stuff last night. So the scientist class is completed. We completed that yesterday. So if we go under the skills here. Uh, so scientist was completed. We got physician level two. Um, gives us the anti-venom and mortar and pet still. We got EA science, uh, whatever. It's got a few things uh, added to it, but not much. Uh, demolitions expert we've got so those are aren't bad and then we've got the survivalist class here we got that finished last night it wasn't too much hardest thing was making the uh, leather armor but that was just easy um, so we've got no points in this no point no points got added to this at all so well maintained uh, degradation of tools and weapons um, drugs dehydrate you less and then the survivors resistance for resistance to disease and heat and cold and stuff so we're okay on that but we've got this one done so all we have left is the hunter to do which is sad because we had enough pages to be able to do it but uh anyway that last episode was a freaking disaster anyhow so let's uh wandering whore went by last night too so they're waiting for me downstairs now we've got six points so i think i'm going to drop one into pain tolerance get that maxed out we're already noticing that we get hit now. We're getting, we've got a lot less damage than we, what we were getting before. Fluria blows. This increases our melee attack speed. Our attack speed is already insanely fast. So I'm not really worried about that at the moment. Uh, labor. We're going to put one point into advanced engineering to get the uh, bonus from the trap kills if we get any. Um, just so that it's done and out of the way with. Now farmer. We're going to go down and have a look at the crops in a second. But I think I want to go. I want to add some points to this I think. To receive more stuff from when we harvest crops. We don't have to pick up stuff along the way. Now sous chef unlocks better recipes. So that's a possibility as well. But the, like there's some really nice stuff like orange tea. Things like that which are, are, are really great to make. But then I need to plant orange plants. I need to like be making sure I'm harvesting them all the time. To have the oranges to be able to make the tea. It's like it's not as easy as just grabbing chrysanthemum. Which we've got planted downstairs. It's That's pretty simple. Actually, we don't have chrysanthemum planted downstairs. We've got it planted over at, at Hugh's place. But we, we could plant it downstairs. That's what I mean. It's like easy to just put that together. Which reminds me, I should probably, while we're talking about it, grab you and you. And I got the wood on me and the rotane flesh we need. And let's make some more farm plots. Ah, uh, shit's about to kick off downstairs. Uh, how many can we make? 12? How many do we... We had 12. We only need 6. To fill in what we have. So let's just make 6 for now. And then we'll go down into the lag pool that is the downstairs. And deal with these zombies. Now, um... Concrete's being made... I got the other advanced forwards done last night. So this guy has got... 6,000 cement on the craft so that's good to know I'm like just listening to what's down there and I got some uh, ammo going in there for 762 I was gonna make 9 mil but we got a couple stacks of 9 mil so I'm not worried about that let's take them over to the horde base that's a demo All right, how much ammo do we want to use? Oh, yeah, the other thing, too, is I brought the Winchester out with me today. Hey, buddy. Oh, that's a big demo. That's not a good thing. Damn it. Come on, buddy, get up here. You know, I already determined I can't throw through there and why, why I went ahead and did it. I thought it, somehow I could... I'm like, ah, this time will be different. Right? Right? It'll totally be different this time. Better close that. There we go. That worked a little better. Well, we had to wait to see if the uh, horde's coming tonight anyway, so... Oop, I thought I could get the bear's head there. He's electrocuted and he's standing on people. Come on, buddy. Oh, 
This will take a while if I don't go down and fight them, but I think we can probably slowly just weed through them with this shotgun. There's another one gone. Get off of my base. Do I have a full stack? That's a lot of rads. I have a full stack of, um... Oh shit. Well... Good thing we gotta do work down there. I need probably killed a few of them. He probably killed a few for me. Damn it. Done. I'm burning through ammo like crazy here. I shouldn't shoot those guys. Just the rads. And the white. And the bear. Bear's gotta go. There we go. Bear's gone. I could probably get down there now. Another bear, huh? What is this, Horde Knight for crying out loud? Okay, bear's done. If I want to just... Oh, God, there's so many of them. So many of them. Oh, yeah, we never turned that on. Come on, you guys. I'm right here. Just gotta make it past that turret. God, I got closer and I can't even hit him. One good thing is, I don't think we're getting a horde tonight. Oh, skeet shooting. You're done. Alright, let's not waste any more ammo. Come on, you guys. I'm right here. Right here. All you gotta do is get to me. All you gotta do is get to me. I'm right here. Come on. Christ, my, the speed of my attack is so fast now. I can't even stop before swinging, like, again. You know what I mean? Like, I just push the button down and just rapid-fire attacks. But then when I finish killing him, I take my foot off. Or my, my foot off. I take my uh, finger off, but I'm still swinging. See what I mean? One extra shot. Is that it? Is that all you got, Soromon? Somebody in the building. I bet he's nasty. Ooh, more ammo. What else do we got down here? Any bags? One over here. This is probably from a night drop, though. Well, thank you for the stuffs. Who's stuck in here? Well, I guess the one good thing is that, um, besides the <laughs> lag resolving before we get in here, is I guess that they never got caught under there. I guess that kind of did it. Now oh, you're dead. Hey, you. You came all that way for nothing. Where's your friends? They're all dead too. Oh, these stairs are gone. That's not good. Uh, let's do this. Now we've got this open though. Do I hear a bear outside? If that's a bear, it's a problem. Or was it just you? No, there is a bear out there. Uh, he's stuck in the fence. Let's not be around. We know they can get through here. Um, hey! Guess what I'm starting to use. Damn it. I have no idea. Oh, we're doing damage. Six rounds. Ten rounds. Not bad. Is that guy stuck over there? Or those... God damn it. 
Stop looking. He's stuck on something. What is he stuck on? Are we actually hitting him? There we go. That guy's just a spawn in a building. I'm pretty sure. Alright, well. Let's get this shit fixed. It just seems like this... I mean, other than the ground, obviously. Base is taking less damage overall. Christ. That's a bigger hole. That's a bigger hole. But the one good thing about this is that at least we know... Oh shit, do I do it? I think I have to take this out. That shouldn't fall though, I don't think. Right? Oh, for Christ's sake. Yeah, I know the lag's gonna get me killed. It might. Or it might just get them killed, I don't know. Alright, let's fill in this hole here with these blocks just so that it's got at least a little bit of ah stability see the problem is is like with regular dark with regular seven days to die i couldn't play it when it was this laggy but darkness falls is a different story it's such a fun mod that i can't not play it i don't know how to explain that Shit, i'm gonna need a lot more Oh, no, I won't, because I'm going to be putting concrete on top of this. So we have to make sure all of the holes are filled in. You can't leave one, because if you do, with the way the zombies glitch now, they will glitch underneath, and then they'll start tunneling. So every little block under here needs to be full. I think that's all of them. All right, not bad. Now let's take out, turn our back to the city. We may want to move our base out of here too, to some place a little less laggy, like out to the country. But for now, we're going to stay here. Okay, let's get this filled in. All right, we rapidly ran out of blocks. Let's make another um, 40, I think. And while that's going, I'm going to go around and make the repairs to all the concrete here. So yeah, they haven't been really hitting on this at all. Like, I thought they would have done... I think this is from the demo blowing up over here, personally, but... I would have thought they would have done... Like, be hitting stuff more often over here. But like I said, I think this is from the demo exploding. They haven't been punching anything. Yeah, because these steps are fine. Pretty much. I mean, there's a handful of damage here or there, but... The front is, like, perfectly fine. So they're not really hitting any of this. It's me that's, sh like, with my grenades and, like, firing this direction that's actually doing the damage over here. And then I think it was the demos on the other side that did all the damage. Yeah, that was a good change, making the change to the stairs. Definitely a good change. That's all that. Wow, that's like... Other, like I said, other than demo explosions, it's really... And I don't know how to get around that. I'm willing to take those. Uh, let's just fix that too, just in case. I'm willing to, I'm willing to take the demo explosions. Um... Only because, um, like, all the other zombies are, are dealt with in such an easy manner that um, there's no real reason for me to kind of change things. And I can mitigate the demo explosions by putting, you know, stronger blocks down below. So when they do go off, they're not doing so much damage. Okay, so they did do... 
bit of damage here. Okay, can we get this one? We can. Okay, now can I get between here? I should be able to get right in there. Nice. Like, I knew eventually we'd have to fix all that, so... Well, they are starting to hit on this under here. I think this is just from the puke, though. So they're really not doing a lot. That's from me shooting. I should upgrade those to concrete today, too. Definitely those. This side, though, is fine. I'm not sure about that yet. And then on this side, we want to do the same thing under here, there, there. I think I want to do that side because they're shooting from over here, so we'll do that one. Now, in here... That was just pipe. So they don't care about this. Like, they know I'm up there, but they don't care about it. So let's actually, now that we've got a bit of stuff to play with, let's just take out some of this. Now, at some point, the bigger zombies are going to come and want to break through here a little better, but... Uh, and that's... Okay, that's this. We haven't got any behemoths yet, which is a good thing. Now what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and put in some cobblestone stairs. I mean, we don't need to. You could leave it just as it is. But I think if we put in the stairs, it's just going to encourage them to, like, get through there a lot easier. And this we don't need to worry about. Although I should probably... Now we're getting to the point... I don't like these curves. That's the whole thing. I wanted to knock out all the curves, but you know what? I think we have to just bite the bullet. I think we'll leave this as cobble. I gotta get those updated too. There we go. Okay. Now let's just grab our concrete, what we've got left here. And then I don't think we got a horde today, so we're going to get the hell out of here. Going to grab our gas, grab a bunch of stuff that we need. And there it is. One more. You know what? Let's just um, take out a couple pieces here. And uh, maybe... I want to do these guys. No, I think we're good. I think we'll leave it as that. So that's a pretty good landing area where they're coming down. Everything is fixed. Oh, not everything is fixed, though. Like we missed last time. Ooh, missed that last time. Missed that block. And was it that one or the one next one? It was one of these ones along here we missed. That guy. We don't have any steel on me, so I can't fix that. That's okay. Um, is it time? I think so. Yeah, I think we do this. Are uh, they ever going to stack up at the door? I'm going to leave the top ones cobble for now. Because I have no idea if they're going to stack up at the door. I'm going to do those guys too. They broke that block out. That's fine. I wonder if this is like from Molotov damage. 
Wouldn't be surprising. Or the junk turret firing and missing, maybe? I don't know. Probably. Okay, well, I think that's going to about do it. Yeah. Do the top of that, too, in case the spider monkey gets on, on top of it. Right? They probably won't, but you never know. Oh, and then let's get the block. There and there. And the one behind there is concrete. Okay. So that's the one behind here. Let's get that reinforced too. Don't have to worry about that. Right? Okay, let's do... Shape, you, you, and then I think I'm going to fill that part there with those. Alright, well, feeling a little better. Let's close you up. Now, we got, like, what? Half the day to get out to Eve's place. Ah, man, it doesn't leave us much time once we get there to do much. Although... Why did I set it from two to four days for the horde? Am I f freaking crazy? I think I am crazy. Uh, let's just drop all this stuff in there. You, 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 you. Um, what level leggings do we have on right now? 21. So let's grab out these guys. We'll put those in on. Let's put that stuff in there. Whatever we can get in here. I wonder if we hit up Trader Bob on the way out, too. I think we do that. We're going to grab all our stuff that we have for sale. Hit up Bob. Okay, now let's grab... Um, I guess an armor plate? What do we have in the legs? Yeah. Take those two out. I'll modify you. Not going to repair them just yet. Put those in. Wear those. Put the other ones back. Use them for repairs or upgrades. Okay, so let's grab you, you. Just so we have two stacks in case we're out there for a bit. I'm not going to worry too much about the horde. We can get back here in relatively good time. Let's make sure we've got all our gas on us, though. That should be enough to get out there and back and to toil around for a bit. Uh, we've got food and drink on us, but let's make sure we're topped up with the drink. Boom. Use one of these guys before we go. Let's use one of... Do I not have any more steak and potatoes in there? Do I need to make more? I thought I just made a huge stack of it. Not this, but the um, meat stew, I mean. Well, let's just use one of these guys. Actually, let's use two. All right, I think we're good. Um, let's grab all our stuff for sale. And let's GTFO. Are you a remnant? Couldn't die with the rest of your buddies, huh? So I have to say, I'm kind of really enjoying... I mean, we never checked the farm either. Um, I'm really enjoying the two to four day horde nights. It's really forcing me to stay on my toes. And I actually kind of like the fact that the wasteland is blocking off the southern half of the map. So we're restricted to whatever is just up here currently. Um, I like it when... It's funny because I like playing Seven Days to Die. And I like playing uh, the Darkness Falls mod. But I like having at least some kind of restriction put on you like the you know not repairing during horde night or um because then it forces you to think about you know different ways to to build your base that you don't have to worry about it like the one that we have right we barely we don't have to do anything right now once the behemoths and stuff start it's going to be a little different we'll be facing them at the door i think we'll have to figure out what to do there um but you know it's like 
putting those restrictions on you really forces you to play the game, think of the game in a different way. Like, because you can get into playing seven days, and then you kind of just kind of like, I don't know, you get into a routine and you play it like you always would, right? Like, like any other game, like you just figure out the best way to play it, and you stick to that. Whereas if you play it like this, it's constantly forcing you to rethink what you've got and what you're doing. And my base is, you know, very similar to the bases I've run in the past. But um, it still makes you, it still forces you to think about how you've got things set up, you know? Yeah, I'm selling the M4s. You don't want that, eh? Fine, I'll probably just scrap it. Now, uh, what do you got here? Anything amazing that I would just love to have? Can't get elsewhere. I'm gonna buy you. Zambonis are showing up. Oh, I didn't fix my shovel. I did not fix my shovel. Do you have any repair kits? You might have. I know Eve's not going to have them, which means we need to get duct tape, um, mechanical parts. What else? I think it's forged iron and cloth to make a few of our own. Okay, we'll take that. I think I'll buy your rest of your 9mm, your magnum ammo. Um, and that's good, I think. Military gear. Alright, you got a 21 and an 11. We've got a 44 on. We can't actually merge stuff to make it any higher level. 23 boots. Yeah. We could go and Buy, keep buying those, but I think it's better we wait for at least just a high-level version. Okay, repair kits. God, it's pricey, but I'm going to buy two of them because we're definitely going to need to repair something when we're out there. Okay, that's it. What do we got here? Anything? Nope. All right, let's repair my uh, shovel before I forget, like I've done in the past multiple times. Hey, you. Because I opened the door doesn't mean you're allowed to come in. Yeah, you can see what I mean about like if you're if you're not in a city with like a a downtown core, the frame rate doesn't suffer, which is why I think we need to move our base. Maybe we just leave what we have where we are where we're at now, like horde base wise, and we find a new city to like move to. Maybe it's here. Anyway, let's get going. I made a bit of a decision to try and take a shortcut here to go through the mountains. I think there's a path that's actually half decent here. Uh, if we have a quick look here. Yeah, I think we can kind of go that way. Yeah, that wasn't so bad. That was actually a relatively easy drive through the mountains. Sometimes it can get really chaotic. But that was pretty simple. It was just that one high cliff that we went up and over and that was it. So let's have a look here in the map. Um, yeah, we're going to go straight out this way now. Where is Eve? That's the wasteland. She's way over here. So let's put a quick waypoint in that direction. Once we get a little closer, I'll uh, start to turn south. So I guess the one thing I didn't check was to see if we're level 60 yet. I think we are. I think we're past 60, which means I think we can make coil stuff. But my, here's here's my conundrum if you want to call it that. So when we make coil ammo, like we can roll with the coil shotgun, I think. I don't know if the, ra if the rate of fire is going to be as fast as the current one we have, but the damage could be a lot higher. Oh shit, is this more mountains? Yeah, let's go this way. Uh, but as I was saying, I think the damage is a little higher. But the question is, oh for fuck's sakes, do we need the extra damage? with what we're using the shotgun for. And I don't know if we do or not. So, I'm thinking I might wait. I think it's level 75 where we get the coil carbine. I might, I don't know, we'll see. I might wait and save the ammo or the, the uh, coil batteries for making ammo for the coil carbine instead of making shotgun rounds. Now I'll probably, since we've already got a coil shotgun, I'm not going to make another one, I'll just use that one. 
and we'll probably use it on Horde Night um, to fire at demos and, and whatnot. Let's just take this road. Um, we use it to fire on demos or, you know, any of the big uh, mutated zombies which are going to be coming soon. They'll be the really tall, nasty looking zombies. Um, so we'll use the coil shotgun to fire on those guys. Um, but then use the regular shotgun for most other stuff. Like, the ammo is kind of relatively cheap for, for the... If you think about it, the 7.62, if you watched us, how many rounds we used on, for instance, the Night Stalkers. I think it was like a good seven or eight rounds per Night Stalker. So if you figure it's three gunpowder per round and a brass casing per round... So it's like seven or eight bullet tips, seven or eight uh, casings, and then um, you get three gunpowder per. So it's seven or eight times three, so 21, 24 gunpowder. Whereas the shotgun, it's usually one or two shots, sometimes three shots to take the zombie down. I think it's four. If I'm not, if I'm if I remember correctly, I think it's four gunpowder for a shotgun round. And buckshot, buckshot, I think, is a little bit more expensive than a regular bullet tip. Not much more expensive. So we're using less lead. We're using no brass, which means I don't have to harvest brass. I got to get paper, but paper is relatively easy to find currently. So it's not so bad. Uh, plus, I think the traders sell it too, so I can should start. I should start buying it to stockpile it. So I think economically the shotgun is probably the better way to go because it's just putting out, out putting more damage um, and it's killing the zombie faster too which is you know a kind of a bonus especially if you're finding one that's regening and we haven't really found a lot of um, uh, rad removers which is weird because usually I've usually found two or three by this point we've only got one which I am going to leave on the spear um, just for those up close and personal moments where we gotta like quickly kill a zombie, the spear is great because I can just you can stop him from regening while you're fighting him. All right, well there's the wasteland, and then we got the marker on Eve over there. Yeah, so when I when I was saying I was I uh, built a, um, a map trying to find a graduated. Um, separation between biomes. I mentioned this a couple episodes ago. I did the same thing between like everything and the wasteland as well. So the wasteland kind of creeps over into the desert or into whatever biome it's in. And then all the way along I did um, uh, sort of like um, like a desert speckle as well. So there's on the edge there's like you know desert, there's um, wasteland biome and then if it's attached to the green biome then there's green biome. If it's attached to the snow biome there's some snow Right, so it's just kind of like, just to kind of smooth it over and give it a bit of definition so like it feels like you're going from one area to another. And I made it a little bit wide, like, you know, not the width of the road, but maybe like four times the width of this road up here. So it's like, you know, it, it's got that nice graduation between one biome and another. Plus it's also one of those rare things where you could like find rocks that are like next to each other but one is in one biome and another one's in another biome so you get different ore nodes it's kind of neat all right we use about two-thirds of a tank to get here which is not bad i guess let's pull up up front i'm gonna refill the bike two-thirds of a tank tanks three thousand so we should be able to fill it up 35 so we got a full tank of gas and a bit left Okay, let's talk to Eve and see if we can get this mission in another town here. You! Here's what I have. Yeah, give me something better. The test. Yeah. Yeah, 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 that's in it. Well, would you look at that? Well, as much as I want to stick around, guys, I better lead them away from uh, her place, though. Come on, you guys. Now, that um, is in that small town we found way out in the far distance, which we might, I don't know, I think we'll be spending the night at Eve's, and if we are, we're going to be coming back to a massive horde of zombies. Okay, that's good. I, I, I'm kind of glad I figured that out. Um, and it, I apologize if someone put in the comments before that, like I'm recording these on back-to-back -back days on a weekend, so I just have them in the can ready to go. 
Um, so I apologize if somebody put a comment on that already. But yeah, no, I, I kind of figured that out uh, after the uh, radiation panic episode <laughs> where I was like, we got to get rad gear because derp. So yeah, no, that figures, uh, that solves this problem. Now she's going to send us on another quest after this one, uh, which will be a ret which retrieve the supplies. This one's a clear. So hopefully we can get it in the same town or she gives it to it to us in a house that's just like out in the middle of nowhere in the desert. But we can keep canceling the quest until we get one that's like not in the wasteland. Which is kind of nice, like the, the fact that it actually gives you a different location. Now of course the clear out the bunker, that's a fixed location. And I don't think it's, in, I think it's supposed to be in the snow biome. Which means we're going to need to find a road that goes from, well anyway, trying to drive through the wasteland with no uh, armor protection is going to be tough because we're going to need to take off all of our armor to put on all the hazmat stuff to drive through. Which is why I want the radiation pills, because then we can just take one of those and drive through. But I think the motorcycle is probably going to be the way to go to go through the wasteland. Like, I was thinking about making the dune buggy. we got to do that soon. It's got a much bigger storage. It's faster. It's awesome. I mean, you can't really go too much off-road with it, but what we're doing with the motorcycle, it would be the same with the dune buggy, so... Um, but yeah, so we would have to take the motorcycle through the wasteland, and hopefully we don't get murdered by demons and stuff. Okay, well, we're here. What is it? Jerry Phil. Come on, you fuckers. Nothing. Nothing. Well, nine more rounds. Can we see that guy through the car? Apparently not. Yo, fucker. I really don't know how tough the zombies in here are gonna be. Yo! What you get for sleeping on the job, buddy? Did I hear? I did. Well, I gotta be careful of that, too. Damn you. Come on, get in here. Hello? Where is everybody? Oh, there's a military guy. You're gone. Oop. Let's get out here. Oh, hey! Exchange your blows! Get a bit of lag now. Oh, fuck! Now I got an abrasion. Let's get you out of there. Oh, missed. See? Should have cleaned the area. Wow, you're fast. I'm bleeding. You gotta die. You gotta die. Good thing we have got. Now oh, we got an infection. Come on, lady. Um, something says, hey, you'll want to have the shotgun out for this. Maybe not. Line him up. Two fur. I think he's shocked to see me. <laughs> Ah. Okay, we got a rad. Wake up! Oh, didn't kill him. That did, though. What do you think? Two. Three. That's it. Cool. 
I think we're going to be spending the night at Eve's place. So, since that's the case... Oh, hey. He's like, you should have just gone up the ladder. It's easier. Let's grab all of this loot. Which is not a lot, but we will grab it. Alright. Come on, you. Really? Really? Okay. Sure. Gonna grab all this stuff. The radiators. Oops. Not following my own rules. Do you see how that would have been bad if that was like a wandering horde? Okay. Now, what else do we have around here we can grab? Uh, was there anything over here? Oh, yeah, there was the light bulb. Nothing. Hey. Break the ladder out from under me. Where are you? All right, we're down here, so I don't have to worry about much. Decided you come around, eh? Good thing this is like a small town. A little bit of plastic, a little bit of paper, a lot more zombies. Oh, for fuck's sakes. This just never ends. Oil. Oof. He's not having a good day. Hey, lady. Free paper. What do we got in here? It is almost nightfall. Oh, hey, got my shotgun rounds. Back. Paper. That's kind of interesting. We'll take that. That. All right, some stuff we can sell. It has definitely been worth looting this place. It should give us enough gas to get back. Although we should probably uh, get out of here real quick. Simply because um, I think we're going to have to face that horde when we get back to uh, Eve's place. Just close that. Uh, break into these guys. The canning rack we can sell. Ooh, repair kits. That's kind of nice. Plastic. Paper. And I think we are pretty much done here. Except for a lot of nothing out here. We can just scrap these guys. Not worried about the chairs. We will, however, take this car apart. Not only for the extra gas, but for the extra parts and stuff, too. We can get a battery. There we go. We can probably scrap it for the uh, lead. One thing that we are missing a lot of is lead. I know we need to get it while we're out here, but... Alright, let's get back to, to uh, Eve's place. So hopefully tomorrow, we're going to go out first thing tomorrow. I'll probably leave before the morning's out to arrive at the location we need to go to for the second quest to retrieve the supplies. I'll leave um, early before the sun comes up so that we get to where we need to be. There's the nightfall. 
So this should be interesting when we get back. Um, I'll leave so we can get get to where we need to be for the morning so that when um, the morning does happen, all we have to do is do the quest and then go back to Eve because I don't know if the horde's going to happen tomorrow. But if it does, at least we've got that second quest done, you know, and then she can give us the, hey, you need to go clear out this bunker quest, and then we're ready to go, right? That's the uh, stage that we need to be at, I think. Um, and I'm really hoping at some point, like in my in a playthrough I've I'm kind of been doing roughly like like at nights during the week, um, I'm at day, I don't know, 20 something or other, which like which is a horde every seven days. But I've already got a multi tool, I got a multi tool drop, and I did not advance my like you take that skill that advances my loot stage. I hadn't taken that at all. So, um, so yeah, that's, uh, you know, a thing. So, uh, you know, we could get a multi-tool drop, but if we don't get one, I'm really hoping we find a multi-tool out at, uh, out at that, uh, um, quest location. Now, did that horde despawn? Are they still... I don't know if those are just night rads or if those are horde spawns. Nope, that's the horde spawn. Okay, fuckers. I can't have you out here tonight. How am I gonna do this? Look at them. Well, let's just fucking do it. If we're gonna do it, let's do it. Come on, buddy. You know I'm here, right? Okay. We got their attention now. Fucking rads. Nope. Nope. I don't like this because some of them know I'm here and some of them don't, so they're not all running towards me. And I gotta worry about backing up because I could run straight into a group of zombies. I saw you jumping, you little shit. Well, I see ya. Let's go back to the area we've already cleared. Okay, well that's not bad. 86 concrete. Let's grab the stuff from over here. We're burning through our shotgun rounds, but we did pick up some today, so I don't feel so bad about it. Hey. Thanks for bringing me that bag. Appreciate it. Appreciate it. Boom. Oh, you got shotgun rounds too. white. Hey, I got a spear. You like it? It's sharp. I think that's about it. Oh, two treasure maps. All right, so I'm going to grab these bags over here and we'll end the episode here. Um, I should probably be grabbing all this too because we're going to need it. Um, actually, you know what? Before we do... Let's take a look, because I mentioned on the way out here we were have the potential to be level past level 60, and I think we are actually. Let's get the quest from Eve. 
Oh, hey. Thank you. Free meat. Sup, you. Well, color me impressed. You should be impressed. That was pretty awesome. Winchester, a little better. Uh, two meat stews. Uh, let's take the ammo, because I can disassemble it. And since I can't sell anything to you, that's worth 519. Yeah. Okay. You got any jobs? The favor. Ah, oh, fuck. Is that where I think it is? Where am I pointing? It's only 160 meters. Wait, what? Is it that house right there? It must be. Well, shit. Alright, well, we'll walk over there fuck tomorrow <laughs> if we have to. Uh, anyway, I'm going to end the episode here, guys. I'm going to go ahead and disassemble all her beds here because she doesn't need these anymore. It's not like she's got guards or anything that need them. But I'm going to end the episode here, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. When we come back tomorrow, we're going to go over and do that quest. Head back home. Most likely be fighting a horde tomorrow. We might get lucky. I doubt it, but we might. And then, um... Yeah, so we'll do that tomorrow. All right, so I'm going to end the episode here. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, drop a like. If you haven't subscribed, please feel free to subscribe. You can also drop any comments in the comment section down below. Until next time, we'll see you later.